Uh, hey guys, this is Raze. I'm here to bring you guys another HUD tutorial video today. I know it's been a while, but um, we're going to keep this one really brief. A uh, question I've been getting a lot is, how do you open up .res files? Well, there's a lot of things you can open, uh, open up .res files with, but I'm going to give you the solution that I, I believe everyone should use. Um, if not this, then at least some type of advanced text editor, because Notepad and WordPad will work, but they're just, they, they don't cut it, uh, at least in my opinion. Um, so the thing we're going to be downloading today is Notepad++. Uh, and you actually, I don't know the website, so we're just going to Google it. Um, but if you Google Notepad++, you'll see it's like literally the, the first website that shows up will be this guy right here. And I'll go ahead and put the download link in the description for anyone that needs it. But um, basically what this program is, is it's a uh, text editor that once you open it up, um, it looks kind of like this. And I know you guys have seen this in my other HUD videos. It's what I use for all my HUD editing. And it's really nifty because it's got stuff like the ability to open up multiple files, you know, you can uh, open up multiple files and a whole bunch of other nifty stuff, so I, I highly recommend this. Um, I know there's other options out there, like, uh, I can't even remember some of them right now, but I know there's other ones out there, and, and you guys can have your opinions and use those, and that's fine, but this is what I use, and this is what I will recommend um, to to use for all how to editing things. Uh, but anyways, okay, let's go on to step two. Let's uh, assume that you go ahead and you download Notepad++ and you're like, well, that's great, I've got this program on my computer, but how do I get it to do anything, right? Well, um, that's that's when the next step comes in. So let's navigate to a .res file, for example, here. Uh, let's just go to Client Scheme, pretty basic. And let's say we want to open this. Well, for me, you know, it's already recognized as Notepad++, so I can double-click and it'll open up. But for a lot of people, you know, you'll double click and it'll say like, Windows doesn't know how to open this type of file. So what you want to do is you want to right click it, and you want to go to open with. And um, hopefully it'll appear on this list right here of options. Uh, and if it doesn't, then you can click choose default program. And once you do that, it'll bring up this kind of a menu right here. And let's assume Notepad++ isn't on here. Uh, it should be for most people, but if it's not, then you just click on more options. It'll bring up even more, and then you just say look for another app on this PC, assuming it's still not there. And it'll take you to this little prompt, and uh, all you have to do is go to the directory where you installed it. So for me, it's uh, in here, and you see it's called Notepad++, and you just double-click, and there you go. And I believe there's an option in here as well to uh, have it always open up .all res files with this, and that's what you're going to want to do. That way, later when you want to come in and you want to make an edit, you know, it'll already know okay, Notepad++ is what we're supposed to use to open this, and then you can just double-click, and you don't have to go through that whole process every time. Um, anyways, I apologize for the uh, music in the background, but uh, I found out it's the easiest way for me to uh, eliminate background noise and, and require minimal editing for my videos, so I just kind of went ahead and threw it in there. Hopefully it's not too distracting, too overwhelming, um, but I think it, it was good in, in cutting out the background noise at least somewhat. Anyways, I'm going to try to get more videos coming at you, but for the time being, um, this will be it. So, again, you can always leave uh, suggestions on what you want to see in the future, or if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, then just drop them uh, in the comment section below, and I will definitely get back to them. Thanks for watching, guys.